to show you how to differentiate between the different generations of manual focus lens that Nikon have produced over the years. They have been producing lenses since uh, 1959 approximately for the Nikon F mount. Uh, and this year marks the 60th anniversary of the Nikon F mount, but there are several generations of manual focus lens, some of which don't work on modern digital F mount cameras. So we're going to show you how to tell the difference between each one when you're buying or looking for a manual focus lens. The first lens we're going to look at is the original Nikon F mount lens, which is what we call the pre-AI or pre-aperture indexing lens. Now these are normally very easily distinguishable because of what they call the scalloped focusing barrel up here. But the main clue as to whether or not it's AI or pre-AI is actually the aperture ring. So the aperture ring you'll see here has one set of numbers on the top and it has no numbers on the bottom and the bayonet of the lens is completely flush all the way round. So that means that it won't fit onto modern digital cameras because there's nothing to engage with the aperture indexing lever on the camera. That sounds very, very complicated, but essentially all you're looking for is the amount of aperture numbers. If there's one row on the top and no numbers on the bottom, then you know that it's a pre-AI lens. Occasionally, you'll find lenses like this one, which have had a special ring put on the bottom by Nikon. This is an official Nikon aperture ring. Uh, People could change their lenses from pre-AI to AI when later cameras came out. And you'll also see, if I take off the rear cap here, apart from the fact that it has two sets of aperture numbers on this one and one on this one, there's also a little notch carved into this aperture ring here so that it will go on more modern cameras. The next generation of lens looks a little bit more like the lenses you're familiar with. So this is an actual AI lens where you've got the two sets of aperture numbers. Now, the difference between AI and AIS, I'm gonna show you, is only a few years of manufacture, but is actually down to mainly cosmetics. So this is a 50mm f2 AI. This is a 50mm 1.4 AIS. Now the clue here is they both have top and bottom sets of aperture numbers, but on the AIS here, the smallest aperture is in orange on the top and the bottom row. And that's your first clue that it's an AIS lens. With AI lenses, the smallest aperture is always gonna be in color on the top row and in white on the bottom. So the other difference, um, which is actually mechanical more than cosmetic, is that AIS lenses have a small notch here in the bayonet, which the AI lenses don't have. Now the reason for this is that specific cameras that Nikon made um, over, the, over the years actually required this little notch in order to connect with the lens and then con and control the aperture. Um, it's a handful of cameras and honestly most of the cameras um, aren't the more popular ones and there were modifications that could be made to use AI lenses but this indicates that it's AIS as, as well as the orange top and bottom aperture numbers whereas AI will have top and bottom aperture numbers only the top ones will be in colour and there'll be no notch in the bayonet and really that's the difference between the three you've got AIS here, AI and pre-AI I hope that's been useful